In the video I just created, I showed you how to change the font or to adapt the font in the editor so that you can type in the font that you prefer. So in this case, I've changed it from Calibri to whatever I used here, I've already forgotten. Um, and in this document where I actually used a different font by overriding the default font of the document itself, um, you can see here that making changes in the font adaptation for the editor has no effect. And I explained that in the previous video. If I actually wanted to change the font in the target document so that something else was displayed altogether, I can also do that. But to do that, I need to make the change in the font adaptation to the file type. So for that, I need to go to the file type settings. So if I go up to here, um, in fact, I'm gonna do my project settings. So I won't do it through there. I'm gonna to go to my project settings, file types. And down here, I go to my Microsoft Word file type font mapping. And in here, you can see I get a default set of languages. The default set are based on languages that use scripts that very often would look, look a little odd when you translate the file into, a, into a, a more European language. So you have the opportunity here to map them to something different. So a font that displays better, um, or a particular script that displays better in one font, you might want to change it to something else um, when you go to another language. Normally when you're working from English to German, for example, which I'm doing um, for this particular project, Changing the fonts here is not something that's needed because these use the same scripts and languages are generally the same. But if I wanted to, I could do. So to do that, I would right click and add a new language. And I'm going to add German because I'm translating into German. So let's go to German, Germany and add Germany. And that gives me my new language. I then select the language, right click on it, and I can add a new target font. And I'll add something that are definitely going to look a little bit different. So let's pick, say, for example, curls. There we go. That's going to look a little odd. Um, this is the source font, actually. What I've done there is wrong. I'm going to map all the source fonts. What you have to do is you map it to the specific font of the document that has been opened. Um, because I can't remember what it is exactly, I'm just going to select them all for the sake of this exercise. But I can be very specific. But I'm going to map them all, and I'm going to map them to... Um, that curl so it's a little odd so no matter what they are curls there we go so no matter what they are now um, all the fonts are mapped to curls so I click on OK and if I save that target file now just shift F12 um, it should now be curls Oops. and not um, the Edwardian font that's there. So I go over to here, there's my target document. If I open it up, it comes through, there we go. It's now using the curls font instead of the actual font that it would have been had I saved it without doing make, making that change. So that's how you do it. You make the change on the specific file type and the specific language that you want to actually be making the change into, even down to being able to make the change in the specific font. So I hope that's clear um, and be careful and make sure you do it on your project settings and not in your file options. Otherwise that will affect every single document that you ever translate in Word and that might not be what you want. Or it's, even if you wanted it, it might not be what your customer wants. I hope that was helpful.